Hey Bears, Eric here, and oh my goodness, this Mr. Bertram animated series on Daily Wire Plus has some fans really angry. Some Daily Wire fans are really angry and annoyed. Now, this is a tweet from Vito, and there's a clip here. We are going to watch the clip in just a second. I saw another clip like this last night on Reddit. I tried to find it, but I couldn't, where it seems like people are rejecting the series because it includes multiple diverse characters like we know there's a gay character apparently there's a second gay character um on the series and so it seems like the daily wire fans are not happy i've seen a ton of clips a ton of clips and the clips that i've seen haven't been very good but it does seem very dated to me uh as a series but the daily wire fans that are upset are voicing their opinion about this and I have a lot to say about that, but before we get into my thoughts, we are going to watch the clip. However, if you go on to enjoy this video and you want to see the algorithm change at YouTube to diversify the content a bit more, you can join the revolution by subscribing to the channel, liking, leaving a comment down below, and let's fight back against that nasty algorithm and diversify our search results so a lot of the hateful stuff doesn't end up at the top. And we're already seeing the changes in that. You guys were making a difference, so I do appreciate it. Now, uh, this is the video clip. Vito here says, there is something so deliciously ironic about Daily Wire poisoning their audience against woke media so intensely that the same audience now refuses to watch Mr. Bertram because it has a gay character. This is the funniest outcome I can possibly imagine. So we're going to watch the clip, and then I want to talk about this. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm surprised, honestly. But I am, because they put in uh, a gay character. And... I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, I have all I, they have every TV show. Why not give the conservatives just one where we don't have to hear about it? I've been saying this for a while. So this is why I will not be watching Mr. Bertram. Excellent. Reyes, uniforms. I lengthen the drawstrings and reinforce the elastic in the waistband, sir. Affirmative, supportive, and forgiving. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just put me on uniform because I'm gay? Yes, but you're also part of the unit. We didn't care what you did with your unit. We didn't ask. You didn't tell. <clears throat> and for some of you, like, that's fine enough. But I'm not going to tolerate that character. I'm just not. I just, I, I won't be around it. That's all. So I'm just saying as a Christian, from my perspective, not even this. So there you have it. Um, <laughs> unpack this a little bit. As I've always said, I'm, I never want anybody to feel like they have to be forced to watch anything. This person doesn't want to watch the show and doesn't want to support the show. For whatever personal reason that is, even if I disagree with them, they're fully capable of doing that. They're allowed. There's no Nobody should be forcing people to watch anything. Uh, but there's a lot to unpack from this. So in this clip, Mr. Bertram is accepting of the gay character. And although there is a little bit of disdain there about the don't ask, don't tell thing or whatever, still that's not enough for some of the fans. And again, this is the second video clip I've seen where somebody's complained about the gay stuff in the, in this show. Um, so as a Christian, if they were going to introduce a gay character, I guess that person would have to be persecuted or treated differently or something like that. Uh, and that's not happening in Mr. Bertram. And Mr. Bertram, it's like, we accept you. You're part of the team. <laughs> you know, like we may, we may make jokes about you, uh, things like that, but this is not anti-woke enough for the audience of the Daily Wire, which as Vito said, poisoning their audience with all of this. Uh, it seems to me like there were, there, including gay characters in this is kind of Sort of, sort of part of the course for Daily Wire. When you make stuff out of spite, which like we saw with Lady Ballers, now we're seeing with Mr. Bertram, we know Snow White is also going to be uh, sort of out of spite. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some funny gay side character in that as well. Uh, what's happening is you're realizing that these characters existing in this world, whether it be in the shows on Daily Wire or Hollywood movies or TV shows or whatever, there is a value. There's an intrinsic value to have that diversity in this media, it just is. Whether people don't want to admit it or not, it is. This show without those characters would not have anyone to make fun of other than each other. And I don't think that conservative people would resonate towards that. What the Daily Wire has sort of convinced themselves is that in order to get people to engage with their content, they have to be as bigoted as possible. And I know I'm going to get some pushback on that. 
But that's the reality of it. If you look at all of their projects, with the exception of like some acquired stuff early on, all of their their like produced projects have been literally marginalized community. We are going to treat them poorly. We're going to say bad things about them. We're going to sit, you're, you know we're going to make fun of them or whatever. That's sort of what they do, and they have convinced themselves that they're that's what their audience wants to see all the time. That's the only kind of content they want. We have the Lady Ballers thing, which included cross dressers. There were also a lot of characters in that that were diverse. Matt Walsh played a diverse character, a liberal guy. Um, like they think that this is what their audience wants. But if, if I could just go out on a limb here and just say, as someone from the outside looking in, if people in the Daily Wire audience wanted something that was anti woke, wouldn't it be like the kind of things that you would expect? Like some of the shows and movies that they've really praised, like a show like Reacher. Even though they don't like Alan Richson for whatever reason, something like that or like Top Gun or some sort of cop drama or something along those lines, if they wanted to make content that actually spoke to their audience and showed that we don't need to make fun of gay people, we don't need to make fun of trans people to actually make valuable content for our viewers, or it could even be a comedy series or something like that, just make something that's good that doesn't require to punch on punch down on minority or marginalized groups. I think their viewers would appreciate that. If you're somebody that watches Daily Wire, I would guess you would like to see versions of shows that we have now on TV with no diversity in it. That's that's what you're that's what you want from Daily Wire. But when they put out movies and TV shows that have diversity in it, especially in this clip, to be accepting of a character even though he makes this weird joke about don't ask don't tell, to be accepting of the character, it doesn't seem to me like this show would be any different than any cartoon on Netflix or Fox or HBO or any of these other things. I mean, like, it just doesn't feel that way. I don't get that vibe from it. Again, I will say I, I get the impression that it's just not a very funny series. And that's really the big problem. But Daily Wire is totally convinced that spiteful content, uh, you know, basically derivative content of other better things including diversity. I mean, in this clip, there's a lot of representation at the table. I mean, there's a lot of things. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like the joke or not. Or are they saying that, I mean, do people at Daily Wire feel like, oh, representation is okay as long as it's not forced. But then they made an entire joke over the guy being gay and being into fashion, which again, feels like it was kind of like pushed into the dialogue in the script, which is probably why people who are watching this that feel this way, who are saying it out loud for once, they don't want to see that in the media they're watching. So maybe don't make stuff out of spite. Maybe go back to the drawing board and get some actually talented writers and people involved with the, the projects you make to make something that just speaks to the audience that's watching your shows. Like if they want to see, you know, uh, gay people or trans people being talked bad about or made fun of, they can literally tune into any one of your pundits. It doesn't have to be in the media that they're consuming. And so I think a lot of them are just tired of it. And it makes, I don't know, it makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. I don't necessarily agree with it, but it makes sense to me. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are this in the comment below. I'm very, very curious. See you in the next video.